Hello, lovely humans. It is Molly from Molly Reads and Writes, and this is some number of a writing vlog. <laughs> Today is November 1st, the start of NaNoWriMo. I have not written anything yet, and honestly today if I write like five words, I'll be happy. <laughs> Which would put me 4,995 words behind, but at this point, like, I don't care. So, would you like to know why I don't care? Because, because, I know I have not really been filming lately. Here's my reason. It makes me all teary just thinking about it and it's so stupid because I'm so tired. But I have insomnia and I have anxiety. And right now I'm stuck in this little vicious cycle of I can't sleep and that makes me more anxious and the anxiety makes me not sleep. And that makes me really tired. And then I just it's it's just this circle and it doesn't stop. So, I went to the doctor yesterday. I have been put on a sleep restriction plan, which sounds exactly as hellish as it is. I've already complained to a couple people, and I'm sorry. I'm just miserable. I am miserable. That's okay. Basically, the really short version of this is, I'm not explaining it all here. Maybe one day, if you guys want a full story, I will tell it to you, but the very short version of this is uh, you essentially put your body in a state of sleep deprivation to force yourself to sleep between certain hours of the night consistently, and then just gradually add time to that. So, my given bedtime is 3 o'clock in the morning and I have to get up at 8 o'clock every morning. And between those five hours, do I really sleep much? No. So, I'm really tired. And I'm not allowed to nap. I'm not allowed to go to bed early. I'm not allowed to get up late. It makes me all teary just thinking about it because I'm so tired. So, last night was the first night of the official sleep restriction. And I hate it so it better be worth it, and I'm just telling myself that the silver lining of this is that all of this shitty stuff is happening in November, and I will have a lot of time to write and read. That's, that's what I'm telling myself. I'm trying to make it feel a little better. To the four humans who have heard me complain about this, and watched me tear up every single time. Thank you for just letting me complain. <laughs> because it feels really overwhelming right now. Just, just thank you. Just thank you for being wonderful. And if you don't want to talk to me for the next month, I totally understand. And just, you're allowed. <laughs> you're, you're allowed to not talk to me. So, my plan for the day is this. I do have to teach today. Tomorrow I have I actually do have writing plans. I also have to get a flu shot, and I have a dress rehearsal for orchestra, and then Friday is the performance. So, my week does have to be kind of taken up by practicing, which is unfortunate for the very beginning of November. But, today, I am going to do something. Today I'm going to work on my actual November schedule of like, what I want to get done for writing, what I need to get done for life. I also have to make a schedule for me to keep track of all my sleep stuff, which, ugh, that's fun. So today, I don't think I'll actually work on any of my nano projects. I think I'm just gonna do some random writing on different things. Like, that'll, that'll work fine. I, it's still words that I wrote in November, so it'll still count. But, yeah. And I got a lovely message from an old friend of mine today. I haven't heard from her in a while. And I woke up to a message that said, Happy writing, friend. Wish I was joining you. Got a Starbucks to salute you. That's so sweet. I love people like that. HP, you are wonderful. 
I'm going to go put on some relaxing music and decide how I want to do my sleep schedule and other things such as that. And I will check in with you in a bit because I'm legitimately working on getting back into this because I think getting back into my rage it, rage it, rage it, bleh. Because I think getting back into my regular schedule might help with the whole sleeping thing. But, pretty much, if you want any writing dates during November, guess who's probably going to be available for them, no matter what time it is in the world? Me! <laughs> I'll, I'll check in with you in a bit. You're wonderful. Three hours later, and I haven't done very much. I sat here thinking, I made some tea, I got a headache, and I made a little sleep tracker. Good progress. I thought about things, does that count? <sighs> and I rescheduled all of my students for tonight, so I don't have to teach tonight. So, through the rest of tonight, I'm going to plan out a bunch of videos that I want to do this November, so that I just have them all set up. All I need to do is film them and edit them and not worry about it. Then I was thinking I'll do writing vlogs for Nano every two to three days so I can track my word count and such. But I might hate myself for saying that halfway through the month. We'll find out, won't we? We will find out. I don't remember what I just said I was gonna do. I'm a mess. It's okay. Just go with it. I'm gonna go like make a spreadsheet or something. I did stuff, sort of. I worked on a few different stories because I, I can't focus right now. And then I had a bath and I've been trying to work more on stories tonight but I have a migraine and I cannot get rid of it and it's slightly killing me and I'm tired. Although, at the start of today I did say that I would be happy if I hit five words and I got to almost a thousand and the night is still young for me it is only 11 I still have four more hours that I must be awake so right now I figure I'm just gonna put this footage into my computer and work on it so that it's easy for me to upload and then maybe I'll try writing maybe I'll read I was just sent a link to something by the beautiful Kelsey which is a Harry Potter hand, hand, Harry Potter fan fiction. And her note was, Mollison, while you're staying up half the night, read this, read it and weep. 
and in this discussion I asked like how am I going to weep and she said it's weirder than annihilation it's annihilation on LSD in space with wizards so I have a feeling that my night just got significantly better I'm going to read that tonight as well I have four hours like I have a lot of time to read maybe right but I got a thousand words today on just random short stories. Maybe, no, not tomorrow. After the busyness that is this, the next two, three days, I'm gonna actually pull out my nano projects and get going on those. So I will chat with you on the morrow. And for once, you will actually see this vlog. Okay, night. Good morning, like four days later. It is Monday, November 6th. And I ended up having a couple really terrible nights for sleep and I was at like the incoherent exhausted state so I think that first day I wrote like 800 something words and then the next day I wrote one and then just kind of sat on the couch staring at the wall because I was so tired I couldn't function so that was cool so I thought I would hop on here to end this vlog so that I could start another one right away. That's like, that's everything in my life right now. I sort of slept last night because I'm just so tired, but I've also hit the coherent exhausted stage, which is good. I would like to know something. Tell me something about yourself. Something fun. And I just told you I was coherent. Anyway. I'm gonna finish this and start the next writing vlog. That's my day. You guys are wonderful. Thanks for sticking with me. If you enjoyed this, you should like and subscribe to see more in the future. And I hope that you have an awesome morning, afternoon, or evening, whichever it is, wherever you are. See ya.